beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel and hello and welcome if you are new here. I am Lucy Stevenson but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out my videos and it also helps out my channel so much as well. If you are new or you haven't already please turn that notification bell on because I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays and I do a lot of bonus videos in between as well so it makes sure that you won't actually miss any extra content as well. It is officially Foundation Friday which means that we are putting a brand new foundation to the test. This is the Flower Beauty one. This one is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel Foundation. This one's in the shade Porcelain L1 and it just looks like this. This is actually recommended to me to try out from one of my patrons, Megan, so thank you so much for the video idea and also for a foundation idea as well because I have so many. And I really wanted to pick up a new one, so I picked this bad boy up um, off Rebecca, who's one of my other Patreons as well. So I'm going to start off by taking two pumps. I've made sure that I've prepped my skin with a water-based moisturiser and a water-based um, primer as well, just because I know on some Foundation Fridays before, it's kind of like balled up with whatever product I've put on underneath, so... I went through the extra effort of <laughs> doing my research this time and the main like first ingredient on the bottle of the foundation is water. So I've made sure that I've paired it up with the Kiehl's um, Serum Infused Water Cream and for the primer I've used the Sleek Hydrating Primer because again the first ingredient in that is water. And as always I'm going to use my PC08 brush from Peaches and Cream to blend this out. Let's see what it claims to do. So it says it is a lightweight and breathable formula that blends effortlessly. My words out. Blends effortlessly. <laughs> I'm like me trying to actually say that. It matches seamlessly and wears endlessly. It's got broad spectrum SPF in it. And this one that I've got on, the porcelain one, is described as fair skin with yellow undertones. I must admit it is blending in really nice and really quick. At the moment they have buy two and get the third free on Selected Cosmetics on Superdrug at the moment that I'm actually filming this, which is about a week before you'll be seeing it, so it might not be on anymore, but just double check just in case. And this retails for $12.99. If this is right on the website, there's only actually 10 different shades, and if I'm honest with you, it is literally like light beige and then one darker shade which obviously <clears throat> is just not acceptable so I don't know whether they're just low on stock because it literally jumps from like a light colour to like a really really deep colour so I don't know whether I don't know the website's just not showing all of the shades or whatever but if that's the case 10 colours is just away <laughs> come on come on now child so this is what it looks like all blended out it definitely has kind of blended really, really easy. It does feel really, really lightweight. It doesn't feel like I've got like a really heavy kind of foundation on. It would be one that I would be really happy to wear like daily or even like for work when we go back to the office <laughs> because I've been working from home for a full year now. So yeah, I think it does blend really effortlessly. It does feel really lightweight. It has matched really, really well, but obviously that could just be generally the colour that I've picked. So yeah, that is what it looks like applied i'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then i'll come back show you what it looks like everything else applied i'm going to put on the little flower um, beauty blush that i've got as well just to kind of keep with the flower beauty theme but i feel like it's gone on really really nicely especially on my nose i feel like it's quite well it's covered my nose perfectly like absolutely no issues with that whatsoever no kind of peeling or balling so i think it definitely works well with like the water-based primer and the water-based kind of moisturizer that i had on as well really 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 nice really radiant as well but not like like you, i think you could very easily powder this down it'll go quite matte but you can kind of keep a bit of moisture and a bit of kind of luminosity to it i don't know right let me do the rest of my face and i'll be back in a second i feel like that blended out so quick i don't know it just seemed literally effortless <laughs> so this is the finished look i'm going to come in a little bit closer just so you can see what the foundation is looking like if it does look a little bit cakey in some places it's actually the powder because i use such a weird brush to put my powder on it's gone a little bit funky but it's not the foundation it was literally just the powder but i think this looks absolutely beautiful i think it just gives you that nice little flush of, of 
of colour, it's lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I would absolutely love to wear this like every day for work. So if you're looking for nice lightweight, a little bit of something, but not like full on in your face foundation, I would really recommend this because it looks beautiful. So as for the makeup that I've got on, in case you're wondering what else I've put on my face. So for my lashes, I've got the Doll Beauty Jasmine Lashes. I'm obsessed with these at the moment. I did mention before that I was going to put on the um, Flower Beauty Blush as well. This is the Warm Hibiscus one looks like this actually to be honest with you I always feel like I do my makeup and then after I'm done I always feel like I could just do a little bit more blush so it's pop a little bit more on that's better just sometimes you just need to just a little bit more so yeah obviously blusher is that for the eyes I've done a really really simple look if you want a tutorial on this please let me know because it is so easy to do and I've used the Huda Beauty Sand Haze eyeshadow palette and I've literally just used um, four colours, so I've used a darker one, this one to blend it out, and then the middle one to blend that one out, and then I also used this glitter here, and I think it's turned out really, really nice. My eyes are so wrinkly, so just ignore any kind of lines, but really impressed. That's my first time using that as well. For mascara, I put on the Revolution 5D lash underneath my Jasmine lashes, and then for the bottom ones, I've used the Ardell Bottom Mascara, because it is teeny tiny and just absolutely perfect for them little lashes. Highlighter is the Vive one. This is the Bijou um, Nova Glow Highlighter from Jamie Genevieve's makeup collection. I've done a full video testing this um, a lipstick, lip liner and the eyeshadow palette as well. So I'll leave that link down below if you want to go check it out. So I asked what lip colour to put with this eyeshadow look in my Patreon group chat and Megan said Whirl from MAC. It looks like this. It's definitely not matte. It's really, really comfortable. It's not like they're like retro matte ones where it's really uncomfortable. And I use the Hotline Lip Liner from Peaches and Cream for my lips as well. Um, eyes, obviously I use my P. Louise base. I also use the Marc Jacobs Glitter Eyeliner. This one's in the Glitz Alright shade. I don't think you can actually see it too much to be fair. It didn't really have massive payoff. You could just kind of see a shite look, a shite? <laughs> a, a small little bit of glitter. I was going to say a slight. And then the powder, which I feel like I didn't apply the best, was this Charlotte Tilbury one. And it's because it's literally run out, this little mini sample. Oh, and I used the Get A Grip setting spray from Peaches and Cream as well. So, overall, really, really impressed with this foundation. I'm not going to be able to do a wear test for it because I'm literally putting this on and it's like now 25 to 7 at night. So I'm not going to be able to be able to like test it for a long period of time to see how it gets on but if you want me to in the future please just let me know because I'll be more than happy to do that and I'll try it again and um, maybe I'll try it with a different powder as well because I don't know whether the powder works really well with it but overall really really impressed with this would actually recommend picking up for the 12 99 price tag like I said when I am filming this it's buy two get one free on Superdrug but just have a little look because this is like a week prior that I'm filming this video to when you're actually going to see it so have a little look to see whether the offer is still on they have been doing quite a few offers on Flower Beauty recently because so I know this got reduced to maybe like £8 the other day because I was going to pick it up then and I was like, no, 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 don't spend money. And then Rebecca was selling it, so I was like, right, okay, I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> so yeah, this is my final review of the Flower Beauty foundation, but highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll hopefully see you on Sunday for a brand new video. There might even be a bonus one tomorrow, most likely so, no me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you want to join my exclusive Patreon group, which is what I've mentioned quite a lot in today's video, which is what Megan is a part of, it starts as little as £1 a month and it gives you an exclusive group chat with me and all of the other Patreons. There's like nearly 50 of us now, which is crazy. We also now have an exclusive Instagram as well so sometimes I do lives on there just for the Patreons. Sometimes they join me on the lives as well which is really really cool. And then we also have like an exclusive Facebook group and stuff as well, exclusive giveaways, exclusive monthly collabs. It's all it's all good in the hood over there. So if you want to join it's as little as £1 a month. I'll leave it all linked down below in a little video explaining it all as well but yeah thank you so much for watching and I hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.